nearly 50 years ago, the British public was introduced to Barry Manilow. Now aged 80, the crooner has returned to where it all began, the London Palladium, as he bids a final farewell to the UK. Speaking exclusively to ITV News, he said his British fans were louder than any other audiences. Here's Rishi Dabda. From contagious toe tappers to sentimental ballads, Barry Manilow knew how to write a hit. His rapid rise brought him to the capital in 1978, to the Royal Albert Hall, but first, the London Palladium. Talk to me about British fans. They took to you very quickly. <laughs> yeah, they still, they're still there. They were um, louder <laughs> than any audiences I've ever had. I thought I stunk, but they didn't. They, in their own way, kept saying, keep going. We like what we see, so I give them all the credit for my success. And it was on a visit to the UK that Manlow experienced his fondest career memory. I met Princess Diana and Charles backstage at the Royal Festival Hall. Everything's royal around here. Um, so we did a concert at Royal Festival Hall and they were there. And um, she was a fan and she couldn't look at me. <laughs> I'll never forget that. They got a picture of that somewhere. She was beautiful. He sold 85 million albums, each track from the heart. Her name is Lola. She was a showgirl. But the one that wasn't surprised him with its success. The only one that I had was Copacabana, that I didn't wasn't uh, full of e emotion. It was the cleverest, catchiest song we had ever written, and we thought it was the novelty cut on that album, and that nobody would ever hear it. And that was the biggest surprise. As the New York native signs off on this side of the Atlantic, he's calling time on touring. I'm done touring. I really am. It's, it's, uh, it's, I'm, I'm done. Everybody tells me, you know, at this age, well, I'm, how come I'm still running around and singing high Fs and everything? I don't know how that is. And that's not why I'm doing it. I just think it's gotten old for me. I like uh, being in the recording studio with my musicians. I like uh, creating that. I think I'll, I'll keep making records. That's what I'll probably do. His followers are known as Fanilos, and though he might not go on the road again, Barry Manilow's music will travel for years to come. Rishi Davda, ITV News.